What is up? We got another video. Let's start going strong on this thing. Um, I got a bunch of parts for it. I'm waiting for stuff in the mail to be able to do the ITB swap. So I'm still waiting for my intake manifold I ordered. And then I ordered like timing stuff, you know, basic tune up. Um, I'll have to get a fuel pump or I think I have to get a fuel pump from all the videos I've watched with trying to use the stock fuel pumps. They put out too much power or too much fuel pressure and you can run a regulator but from what I've seen they still put out too much power so I'll get a small little like 5 psi fuel pump or a motorcycle fuel pump or something and run it up underneath the car. Um, but for now I'm going to do this, I'm going to get rid of this the whole front end on this. I got it for a real good deal so I got a whole 944 front end to go on it. Uh, I am missing bumpers anyways so I was able to get a whole entire front clip off the 944 plus this hood is pretty rough. Um, it's got really bad like filler spots and right here it's like really bad. Um, so and it looks like it was in a wreck at some point probably because it has white fenders, the white core support. Um, but I might paint all that and I'm getting rid of the fenders anyway. So I'll show you what I got over here. So we ended up pulling the whole front end off. The front valence unfortunately is broken. So I'll either have to repair that or find another one of those. But I did get the shocks, the bumper shocks. That's a good come up. I got the bumper. I got fender liners for the 944 fenders. And I got two 944 fenders. I also took the hood, the headlights, and the nose guard. Um, and all of my stuff that I have on that car, I'll just, you know, post it all for sale. So try to get money back. This, I worked out a deal with a friend of mine. He owed me some money. He had one of these that he was parting out. So we just worked out a deal to give me the whole front end for what he what was left that he owed me, pretty much. Um, so I'm going to start working on getting this disassembled. I'll just update here and there on what I'm doing. You know, the fenders are probably going to be really easy on this car to pull because I think they've already been pulled off. So that would mean that if they didn't do it right, none of this under here is going to be seam sealed. I'm betting it's not going to be seam sealed. So, um, yeah, probably not because it doesn't even have fender liners on it. So we're gonna pull all that out. I got the fender liners. We'll get those mounted in there with the new fenders and stuff. I will update you once I get this thing torn apart. Figure I'll uh, try to walk some people through that may not know. These older cars is a little tricky to work on if you never worked on one before. Um, similar to like 240s and stuff. You take this cover off of the pump here and you can thread this in to manually activate the pump um, to get your headlights to come up. You have to get your headlights to come up on these because there's screws down in here. You got, I believe it's two eight millimeters that go down that you don't have to take out. You just have to loosen. And then there's a 10 millimeter that goes to the fender right there. So you do have to take that 10 millimeter out and loosen the two eight millimeters. And then normally there's uh, screws across the front, but it looks like this one's different. I guess I'll have to figure out what to do there. So I'll get to that point when we get there, I guess. All right, making some pretty good progress. So, I did find a little differences. I may have to go back to that 944 and grab different brackets because I, I think these brackets are different. Um, also, the nose cone is actually different. I'm a little surprised about that. So I may have to just keep my original cone, which is all right. It's only got like a little ding there. It's, it's in pretty good shape. Um, it's like a part of the whole core support, which is weird because on a 944, it just unbolts. Um, so I got the fender off. For anybody that doesn't know, there's a few bolts down here that attach to the front valence. And then you have one bolt that's right there. And then you have all the bolts along the top. Um, and then you have three right here. You have one right here. You have one right here. And one right here. And those are inside the fender. You can get to them. You have to pull your antenna motor off if it's a 924. There's mine. I'm, I'm going to delete it. I don't need it anymore. The 944 doesn't have an antenna motor there. Um, so I'm just going to delete that. I'll just run my own uh, ant antennas nowadays are so good. You can just get one that mounts inside and not have a problem. Um, I'm going to scrape off most of this stuff though. So my new fender fits pretty good and we'll get the new fender mounted up there and see how it looks. All right. So I got the first fender mounted up, got all the bolts in. Now I got proper red bolts that came from the 944 versus these bolts that were like mispainted and shit. So, we got the 944 fender on. You can see 
just how much more it sticks out. It's got a much wider stance on it versus this. Just looks generic, almost looks Miata-ish. So, nice little wide body in the front. I may or may not go with overs in the rear. I'm not sure yet. I want to see how it looks once it's all together, if I even mess with the rear. Um, but all the screws mounted up. The only thing that didn't mount up was the bracket right here that I'm missing. So I'm pretty sure this bracket unbolts on the other car and I didn't grab it not thinking about it, which is fine. Um, because all this is, it's pretty strong and it's gonna mount to, it's all gonna mount to the lower valence anyways. So, on to the next one. All right, another update. We got this fender, you already saw that one's done. We got this one now done. Um, so we got both the wide body fenders on. Um, like I said before, the nose comes not swappable. So now I'm gonna do some test fitting with the bumper. I want to get the bumper shocks mounted up where they need to be and I gotta like set the shocks where they need to be and then tighten the bumper down and see and make sure my fitment on everything is good and then I can put the front valence on um, I'm hoping that I don't have to cut off this tow hook because I'm pretty sure the 944 doesn't have that but if I have to you know whatever grab the old grinder and get rid of it um, I don't think it'll be necessary anymore and I may do an aftermarket one in the future that ties into the actual bumper mount with a strap that hangs out right here. Oh, sorry. Hangs out right in there. Um, so, let me get that all fit up and then I'll bring you back in a second. Now, I'll tell you, it's really starting to look like a car again. Um, so, got the front bumper on. It went out on a way easier than I thought it was going to be. It's all mounted up. Like I said, I think the nose cone is slightly different on the two. Um, I know it mounts up differently, but I feel like on the 944, it's maybe not that harsh of a, um, a drop. I'm not sure, though. But I do know they mount up completely differently. Uh, so, but I'm glad I got the bumper mounted on. Now I'm going to put all the lights back in, get those done, and then I will stri start trying to mount up that rear or that front valence. Um, I know it's busted, but I may be able to repair it, so I want to mess with it and see if I can get it put in. Alright, All right. so we got the fenders on, I got the front valence on, I did a little, little drift style repair there, a couple zip ties, to get the lip all, you know, mounted up. Um, for the most part, the lip is all attached, but the only thing it doesn't have it doesn't have the support right there. So I'll have to do that. Also, I think I need to do some zip ties right here too, maybe. Or at least one. A little, might need to just pop that out. It might be fine, but yeah. The 924 now has a 944 front end. The only thing I want to swap over now is the hood because the 944 had a better hood. And I might try to swap these headlight caps off because the 944 caps have the matching color to the fenders, but they also look better. They have clear coat. This red is like fading. So unfortunately, you'll be able to see it in the side. Not so noticeable, but this definitely has clear coat and this is like just nothing anymore. So, but what am I gonna do next? All right, so I got the headlight bez or uh, caps back on. I got the new one so they match this. They don't look that terrible between the two, but um, I just wanted these ones because they have a clear coat on them and they look a lot better and a lot better shape than those other ones are. I wish I could swap the nose cone too, but I, unfortunately I can't. They're just they're different design. This one has everything built in up here. Like all this is built into the nose cone. On the 944, it just unscrewed right here from that. So unfortunately it's different, I can't, can't use it. The only thing I got left to put on now is the hood, and then I'll be done swapping everything over. Uh, I can't use the fender liners either, um, because they're not, they, I guess, it's a different design. This doesn't even have attachment points for fender liners. So I assume from the factory it just didn't have any, which is fine, um, no worries. So I'm gonna work on this hood, get this hood swapped out, and then I'll be done with this for the day, and. Pack it in. 
Well, there we have it, guys and girls. The uh, 944 front end is on the 924. Um, gaps are pretty spot on. I mean, it's not like higher and lower there. It's, it's pretty perfect. So, same here. Um, but this needs to be cleaned up. I'm going to slap the wheels back on and then get it back in its little home over there, out of the way. Well, there you have it. I am unbelievably whooped. What an exhausting day. Pulling all the parts in the, ho the hot sun and swapping all the parts in the sun. I'm ready for a nice bath, cold beer, and to relax. All right, there you have it. Whole front end's been swapped. Obviously, it needs some stout wheels and tires now because they're not doing it any justice in the front there. Um, but the little repair on the front there turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. But I'm going to get all these parts listed for sale. Try to just sell them locally. Some of them are a little damaged. Some of them are alright. Um, but that piece over there should be pretty good. I think those are extremely expensive the nose cones the fender liners are getting hard to find too so i get a decent amount for those as well but all right i'm gonna end the video there